Hey guys, and welcome back to Scarlet Sprites. I wanted to take a quick minute today and demo one of the best new features of the RetroTank 2X Pro, which is the ability to update the firmware yourself. No fluff, let's jump right into it. You're going to want to head over to Mike Chi's website, retrotank.com, and from there, navigate to the blog section. In that area, you'll see he has a RetroTank 2X Pro and SCART firmware page. Go ahead and click on that, and that's going to open up everything you need to make this happen. Now at the time of this recording, the latest firmware is version 1.2, and I think the largest change here is probably that the filter button adds two new modes, a low resolution mode and a low resolution smooth mode. Mike notes that these modes are experimental, but were added by popular demand. He also noted that they decrease the sharpness and add minor ringing artifacts. We'll go ahead and take a look at that later. I'm actually more interested in the updates that came along with version 1.1, which include improved video sharpness on each input, blocky mode is slightly sharper than before, and improved format detection and switching. Now come on, you had me at improved sharpness. So let's go ahead and get the new firmware loaded up. There are three things you need to grab. The RetroTank 2X Pro hex file, AKA your firmware, the FTDI drivers, and of course, the firmware flashing tool. Let's install the drivers that we downloaded first. So we'll go ahead and do that. And then next, let's install the actual firmware tool. I'm actually using a RetroBit mini USB here, so the cable is a little short. Now you wanna make sure you hold down the input button when you plug the RetroTank 2X Pro into your computer via the USB. And when you do that, the LED should turn red. We'll go ahead and run the firmware tool by clicking on the rabbit icon. After it launches, click the search button to find your device. You should see the field then populate. Next, click load hex and select the 1.2x hex firmware file we just downloaded. Finally, hit flash to get things moving. My update paused briefly, then resumed and was quickly finished. So don't panic, just let it do its thing and you should be fine. Now that that's done, let's take a quick look at each of the five video modes you may be able to see the ringing artifacts on the new lower resolution modes. So that's it for today, guys. Just a quick demo on how to update the RetroTINK 2X Pro with the latest and greatest firmware. The links for all this stuff are down in the description. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you all next time. Later, guys.